that's doing the renders and that's actually done in the pre init so let's go over to a bit of everything and in the pre init we want to do proxy dot register entity renders however before we actually register the renders really what we should be doing is actually registering our entity so in our initialization class or init class you want to add mod entities like so and you just want to add a method in here which you can actually copy and paste right now and um, that's just for registering the entity um, I got this off test mod so the instance is a bit of everything there you go and uh, control shift O uh, that one and entity ID we actually need to say what this entity ID is so we actually want to do private static int entity ID and that's just equal to zero so like the ID just goes up by one every time that's that's why it's entity ID plus plus and we want to next page add a method here um, we just want to just call like uh, public static void and it's called register entities so this is just going to register all of our entities and it calls this it just calls the register entity method no like register this dot register no what are you doing it just calls register entities this this method here and basically it takes in the entity so entity ghost dot class the name of it so I'm gonna say uh, boe underscore ghost maybe tracking range um, that's how often you track it I believe tracking range yeah so how, how often uh, I'm gonna set this to 64 20 and true so yep now what what we want to do we want to make this actually spawn naturally but in here we need to call the method so before we render it we need to actually register it so we're going to do mod entities dot register entities so it's going to register them then it's going to render them now I'm just gonna like I want to make it so that they spawn in naturally so in here I want to add a public static void uh, set entity to spawn so that's just basically saying what it does and all it is is entity registry dot add spawn the entity class is in fact entity ghost dot class. The probability is going to be I don't know twenty. So this is I'm just going to set this to six one five type of creature. It is enum creature type dot and it's a monster and in what biomes? And then in the last one is biome gen base dot and then the biome get biome generate and that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to say it could spawn in every single biome now we need to just run this in our pre-init i believe or probably in the world generator so i'm just going to put it here proxy dot regist no not proxy uh mod entities dot set entity to spawn so we're going to tell it to spawn And we also want to make it so that um, it has a spawn egg. So I'm going to add another public static void generate spawn egg. And it's going to do as it's 
told and it's entity registry dot register egg and that's going to be entity ghost dot class and a primary color and a secondary color I think two five five two five five would just be on zero zero and just try that and then let's just put this in the init as well mod entities dot generate spawn egg and now we need to make our texture okay so I've come up with a texture and I've just realized that here you don't need the BOE I'm just gonna have ghost and we should be able to run our game and see that everything works so let's just wait for the game to load up and fingers crossed everything works okay so I think this caused an error so biogen base dot and these these are all of them so I think can I do biogen base dot beach birch forest and basically I'm just going to do this for all of them I think this is the main reason it just errored for me so uh, yep okay so it's been about I'll tell you about a week since I last recorded on this modern tutorial and that's because I had some errors with the entities mainly to do with the rendering so I'm just going to be going with how to fix this so the first thing that you want to do is move your entity render method into the initialization method in your main class and go over to here and we actually want to use a deprecated method so we don't need to do that thing with this here just want to use a deprecated method because it actually works and I don't know why and in here we actually don't need this we do not need this you've got to make this client inside so you have to add this um, we also do not need this at all because I've initialized it here and changed this to private static final I've also added this little test method which you can copy from looking at it. Uh, in here, I actually got rid of all of these, so you don't need this. This is just if you want to translate it. And for these, you actually want to change it to the all the zeros that we put in here to the arguments here. So these stuff. Um, copy in this order. That's how they go. Um, texture size as well. You have to change the texture size to something like one squared stuff, so it's either um, 16 by 16, 32 by 32, 64 by 64, 128 by 128, uh, 256 by 256, 512, 512. And I've also done the naming of the egg. Uh, in here, nothing's really changed. Um, I've actually run this because I've been testing it. Um, my box isn't the best, but you know first time doing this and I think that's pretty much everything that's changed so if you run your game you should see that everything works so let's just wait for the game to load up okay so the game is loaded up so let's just go into our test world and we should see that everything now works that we've done in like the last three or four tutorials so the spawn now says spawn ghost I've just changed that uh, yay and if you Right click, oh the lag. I've changed the sounds to a zombie, just to let you know. Because it will spam your chat. Um and then it looks a bit demented, yeah. And sorry about the lag, that's just how it's called. And it, it works like a normal entity. So hopefully in the next tutorial we're gonna add um custom AI to our entity just so that it like teleports if you get close so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe I am out
don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So yeah, go check them out.